This year, there has been a significant recession in the semiconductor domain, and it led to a huge impact on our campus placement. Out of a batch of 50 to 60 students, only 10 to 15 students are able to make it to the big semiconductor companies. So it's been a very tough time and a very stressful time for most of the EC, electrical and VLSI engineers. So what should be done during this phase? So just watch the video till the end, you will have a very clear idea of what should be done during this time. Hi everyone, I am Himanshu Agrawal, currently an analog engineer at Texan Instruments. I have secured All India Rank 27 in Gate 2022 in EC branch. Look, the first thing is that the recession is not going to last forever. Within 2 to 3 years, there will be a huge demand of VLSI engineer in the semiconductor field. So let's just divide our video in two parts. In the first part, I will be explaining what should be done by the B.Tech student and then in the second part, I will be explaining what should be done by the M.Tech student. So let's talk about B.Tech student first. B.Tech students have two parts. First is the gate and second is the off-campus placement. So let's talk about gate first. So now the first question you would ask is why I should write gate? Why a B.Tech student should write gate? So there are multiple benefits of writing gate examination. But since you, you have been preparing for placement, I assume you are aspiring to be a great VLSI engineer. So if you haven't got your desirable placement in B.Tech and if you take admission in 2024 in M.Tech, you will be passing out in, in the year 2026. And till that time, it is very much certain that the recession will be over and you will have a plenty of opportunities to get placed in big semiconductor companies. And if you, you know, during MTech in IITs and in, and in NITs, there are many big companies that visit your campus. Also, in MTech, you get to work on really good industry-based project. And that is a plus point for you. Along with that, you get access to many tools like MATLAB, Cadence, Virtuoso, Verilog and System Verilog. And that is also a plus point. Along with that, you also get a stipend of 12,400 rupees. So, MTech basically helps you to prepare well for industry, right? Which is something you don't get in your B.Tech life. So, I see MTech as a win-win situation for all of you. So, I highly recommend doing MTech for those students who are aspiring to be a great VLSI engineer in the future. So, now the question arises is how you can prepare for GATE in such a short time because you guys have roughly 100 days left for your gate examination. So the first thing I need to tell you is that the last date to fill the application form of gate is 20th October. So please fill the form as soon as possible. Now how you can prepare for gate in 100 days. So if anyone comes to me and tells me that I want to prepare for gate in the 100 days and I don't have any basic idea beforehand. So I will tell that it's not possible to prepare for gate in such a short time. But since you guys have been pre preparing for placements, so I assume that you guys must be having a basic idea of network analysis, analog electronics, uh, digital circuits, just the basic idea. So if you have the basic idea, I will bring a 100 day roadmap video from day to day plan, whatever needs to be done, whatever the test series you need to follow, when you should revise at a certain hour of day, what video you should watch, what subject you should read what kind of question you need to solve, when you should need to solve the PYQs, everything that I will be telling in the next video only. So I will bring a complete 100 day roadmap video for preparation of GATE for BTEC students. So don't forget to watch the video that will be very, very helpful. Let's talk about the second category of the students, the students who don't want to write GATE, but immediately wants to join a job just as they complete their BTEC. So for them, the best way is LinkedIn. Okay, so first thing you will do is that you will send the connection request to all the VLSI engineer who are working in the industry for two or more than two years. If they accept your request, you will write them a message telling about yourself. So the first thing you will write is your name, branch name and the year in which you are passing out. No need to mention your college name. Then you will tell them the courses that you are comfortable with. Let's assume I am comfortable with analog circuits, uh, digital IC design and electronic devices, then I can mention those subjects. Then you will tell them the tools that you have used. Like let's assume I have worked on Verilog uh, or MATLAB, then I can mention those. Then you will tell them the projects that you have done. But the thing that you need to take care of is that the message should be short and brief. You can write it in around 100 words. So in the last, you will write that you are interested in working for this company and if there is any vacancy, they can refer you or 
they can tell you about that vacancy along with that you will attach your resume that's it the same message you will be sending to a lot of vlsi engineer who are working there for two or more than two years you can send these messages to hr as well but i will recommend sending th this to engineers not to H not much to hr but you can send to hr as well okay but let's be honest here it's not that easy for a btech student to crack vlsi jobs off campus just through linkedin or any other opportunity you see because the industry don't really feel that btech students are that much good enough for you so the more feasible option i see here is gate if i had been the student who did not get placed i would have surely prepared for gate exam and would have gone for mtech so it depends on you what you really want to do so the choice is yours for gate students i will be bringing a 100 day plan in the very next video and the link of that video will be pasted in the comment section so do watch that video and prepare accordingly so if you follow my strategy day by day i can guarantee you a rank under 500 and that will secure your seat in very good iit in vlsi branch let's talk about mtech students now so for mtech students there are a lot more companies visiting their campus compared to btech students so just take any placement offer that you get don't think that i will be working in a startup or don't think my ctc will be very low just get into the industry learn the required skills and once you are ready for the industry you will be able to switch very very quickly i have seen many examples where students were earning 30000 per month and in the next year they were earning 1 lakh 30000 i am not just bragging about it it's the reality okay along with that what you can do you can ask for referrals from vlsi engineers who have a relevant experience of more than 2 years from linkedin what will be the procedure of asking for the referral that i have already explained in the previous part of the video to the btech student so you can go back to the video and see the procedure also in the video i have told one thing that is that for btech student it's very tough to grab off campus opportunities but it's not the same for mtech students industry do consider mtech student for off campus opportunities as well because they know you are doing masters in a particular domain for 2 years so they can surely consider your candidature so you should try applying off campus as well from linkedin or any other resources so in conclusion i would recommend btech students to write gate they have roughly around 100 days left and for that i will be bringing a road map video tomorrow only and those who don't want to write gate at all they can ask for referral from linkedin and for mtech student i would recommend to take any placement just learn the skill and then they will be able to switch and along with that they can also ask for referral because they have fair opportunity to get off campus placements as well so you don't need to feel depressed you have plenty of time left you can still do your best if you have any doubt you can put in the comment section i will try to answer all the possible doubts thank you for watching the video